Hey everybody, it's Taylor with Boys and Grove, and today we're gonna make some pumpkin boxes, but with a twist. Let's get into it. Pumpkin boxes have been all the rage for the last couple years, and you can find them everywhere for sale, including Etsy, ranging anywhere from 20 up to $30. Most of these pumpkin boxes are made out of a simple cedar fence picket. I picked up this fence picket from the local hardware store for about $2.64. We're gonna use one of these fence pickets to make a traditional pumpkin box, and then we're gonna use one more picket to make a super cool pumpkin box. I wanted my fence pickets to be smooth, so I sanded them down with my orbital sander. You could also run them through a planer, a table saw, or just leave them rough. Then I used my table saw to clean up the two edges, trimming the pickets down to their final width of five and a half inches. I cut the sides, front, and back to 10 and a half inches long. Before assembly, I sketched out a design for the front face. and then cut it out with my jigsaw. Spooky. For the hard to reach places, I used Rockler's sanding pen tool. Super cool little tool. Ah, still not a sponsor. There is still a chance. Assembly was pretty straightforward. Once the sides, front, and back were assembled, I could get my measurement for the top and the bottom. The top is going to be a removable lid, so I attach two pieces together, the bottom piece acting as a lock to hold it in place. And I still had over a foot of the picket left over. Some pumpkin boxes have stems and some don't. It's really according to your preference. I decided to add one using a piece of a 2x4 that I cut and shaped using my bandsaw and bench sander. All right, our traditional pumpkin box is finished. I did end up putting a couple coats of polyurethane on this. It doesn't necessarily need it because it is cedar and does well outside, but I wanted to have that nice finished look. Now, let's move on to the next one. The second box is almost the exact same assembly, except I added a few strips along one side of the inside of the box to create a frame around the front that will give the front panel a place to sit. I also permanently attached the top this time. In 
order to make multiple faces for this box, I did have to use an additional picket. To make the faces interchangeable, I used some earth magnets. I drilled a recess in each of the strips that I added to the box, and then recesses on each side of the back of each face that I made. All right, our pumpkin boxes are done, both the traditional style and the new one with the magnetic faces. I gotta tell you, this one with the magnetic faces is really cool because I can make as many of these faces as I want and change it out without having a bunch of boxes laying around. I can also make additional signs for other holidays so I can swap it out and use it throughout the year. Now, in case you hadn't noticed, I didn't permanently install the lights in this because I wasn't really sure if I wanted to use this style or the flickering kind like I put in the traditional one. If I do end up using this, they're peel and stick so I can just stick them to the back of this lip and you won't see them. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it inspires you to go out there and make a few of these for yourself. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and the like button. Thank you very much for watching. Be safe and have a great day.